Hi, I am Salt and I'm welcoming you to the cook-off, the couples clash. I hope I live up to the task. We've got three couples here brought to you compliments of Massey Distribution and Barbados today at Savannah Hotel and they are going to be cooking with love for the month of February. We're going to win and take away everything. Yes. Well, normally when they watch cooking shows, they plug in the blender. Three couples, three judges, they're going to have a first round that's going to be the foreplay and then they're going to have the climax afterwards. If I'm being brutally honest, I'm not really focused on what my opponents did. But only two couples going two rounds today so we can see who does cut the best. Now it's time to meet our contestants in the couples cook-off today. We starting with... My name is Javon Hicks. And I'm Kezia Henry and we are... Team Not To Be Left Out. So today we are here to have some fun to, you know, show our love through culinary skills and uh, execute a good game plan, which would consist of me being the sous chef and... I being the good support man that I am. And we are here to do our best and in the process, I'm here not to let down my partner as well. No, we're not going to be surprised to hear the two of these got one another. Just in case you guys are wondering, no, we are not a couple. This is not something new. <laughs> for our, uh, anything um, to be broadcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rani Sponnet. Hello, I am Shane DJ Ras Edwards. And we are R squared because Rani is a Ras. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool, right? Yeah, I know. So our game plan going into today's session is just to have fun. We're not chefs by profession, but we're going to make something work, right? Yeah, we're definitely not <laughs> chefs. Definitely not. I mean, but we could, we could survive. We could get our way around the kitchen. Do a little thing. Yeah. <laughs> and our third couple. My name is Charlene, and they call me Char. And I'm Shane, and people call me, well, Shane. And uh, this team, we are called... Char and Shenanigans. Yeah, Shenanigans. Char, Shane, Shenanigans, get it? Perfect. Established some eight years ago, we are here at the Cook-Off Couples Edition to give these couples a run for their money. Yeah. Um, Char, I'm going to be taking advice from Shar. She is a big chef. If everyone knows us. We are foodies. We love to eat out, but she can cook great. I love eating more than cooking. I'm going to be taking advice from her, and I know that we're going to do really, really well. Now it's time to meet our judges. First, Stan. He is a brand manager at Massey Distribution, a well-known eater from the Black Rock area. Next, we've got Danielle. She used to eat for Comba Mirror, and she's the business unit manager at Massey Distribution. And the man himself, Eat Enough, Stay Small, the Slim Chef, Dan Sadler, representing Caribbean Villa Chefs. Okay, so it's time now for round number one. This is called foreplay. The couples are going to be creating an appetizer to get themselves in the mood and a lovely drink to wash it down with. Some kind of aphrodisiac to get them in the mood. But remember, one couple is going to be eliminated. That means one couple only going one round. And of course, the first round is the shortest round. It's the couple's cook-off, and right now we are ready for round one. So the couples are going to be opening their mystery baskets to see what ingredients they are going to be provided with for their four play. Now, open up your baskets. What we have in here is some salmon, we've got Guinness, and we've got sea moss. It's all about the aphrodisiacs. Right now, I can't wait to see what our couple contestants are going to come up with. So the mystery box is unveiled and we see salmon, yep. sea moss gel and Guinness. Guinness, yeah. <laughs> the gel, it doesn't necessarily have a taste, so you have to like make something of it. Yeah. The salmon is straightforward, it's a source of protein, so you can figure out something with that. Because, let me tell you, I don't know what to do with them things. Hopefully they do. Okay, so the couples have had a chance to think about what they saw in their mystery baskets. Don't forget it's salmon, sea moss, and Guinness. And now they have 35 minutes to whip up some foreplay and impress these judges. So it's 35 minutes starting now. I want to puree the frozen strawberries and I'm running as soon as Salt says go to get the blender because there's one blender and we're thinking hmm, maybe someone else may use the blender first right. so we have to get that So we first. want to make sure that we jump out, get that puree um, completed and put in the fridge. 
We're gonna have a little chat with my judges here. Well, my contestants scramble around the kitchen like mad people. Stan, Simons, Guinness, Salmon. When you saw those mystery ingredients, what was the first thing that came to your mind? I was telling myself, when I taste the Simons and Salmon, they might all leave and come back. <laughs> and I was also hoping that somebody don't mix the salmon in the drink. You drink, oh yes, yeah, so you have to because they have to make a drink and a yeah, dish. Yeah. Danielle, what about you? What would you be doing after we do? I, I was asking them, like, right. what, what, what we do with that combination? Let's both ask them, <laughs> then, then, what would you do with that combination? Simon, salmon, and Guinness. Well, that's the secret ingredients they have to use in this 35 minutes. Long. But they're going to have um, other ingredients in the time here as well. What would you come up with? It's a drink and a dish. I had a look earlier to see the full complement of what was in the kitchen and they, are, they have a few choices but they have to be creative, think outside the box. Um, I'm hoping somebody decides to use the sea moss in the food item and not just in the drink because the sea moss will pair with the salmon as they're both seafood. I, I'm excited to see what they do and I want, I want to see something different. All right, so we are in the kitchen right now. Team not to be left out is cooking up. A, oh, my mom crushing garlic, boy. Ooh, you know about food, boy. You know about cooking. Today we are making a smoked salmon cream cheese roll wrapped in nori and for a drink. A for a drink today we are making a pineapple chardonnay cocktail. What, one is a real, oh, real couple or oh, one is just pretending to be yeah. a couple? As real as it gets. Yeah. Not as real as it gets. I was wondering about that, you know, the point was. I think I know if one is a real, real couple when we start to argue. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What DJ Ross has done is he has brought out the ice gold and green sweet peppers as a real customer so to get the tea. So I don't know, it can look good for sure, right? So our square is working with ice gold and green sweet peppers. Yes. So we're just gonna do a simple salad because we have 35 minutes. And honestly, what can you cook in 35 minutes? Char and shenanigans. No, this this couple is eight years in the business, so they, they, they should know a thing to about sea moss. Right? Now guys, who does the most cooking at home? Char. Char normally does the cooking. So we get the start, go, and immediately I'm seeing Char focused and zoned in, and I know that she um, has everything planned out, how she wants to go about it, and I just have to make sure that I follow all her plans uh, to the T. Guys, where you are handling the knife right now, Charlie? I think so. Oh, okay. And Shane is going to blend up all the little things like some strawberries. He's got some, that, that's, a, that's a fancy herb. He's got rosemary and ginger. Rosemary. Uh -huh. And he's got some simosa as well. Yeah. As well. Yeah. 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 So you're yeah. a fan of cooking shows normally? Of course, yeah, we watch a lot on Netflix. Yeah. Still in working? Uh, normally when they watch cooking shows, they plug in the blender. So oh, they plug in, plug in, plug in. And they come out. <laughs> You have some sugar trying to caramelize uh -huh. uh, just to take heat stirring the sugar so it doesn't burn okay. yeah. and once it starts to caramelize you can pull it off but then it started to crystallize if it stays on too long thank you all right all right so you take i'm dj ross what's going on sir i am here sir what's up hey good hey good i see your friends on plantain yeah what we're gonna do um we're gonna wrap the plantain with the salmon uh, and then we're gonna prepare a nice little salad to go with it and then we use everything else in the mystery basket in our drink. So we use the sea moss and the Guinness in our drink. You master the frying the plant in at home? Um, yeah, just don't take eyes off it. Yeah, oh, you know your secret. <laughs> I want the blanket burn. Yeah, correct. The blender is not working and I'm panicking at this moment. I'm looking over at Char and Char is like, get that to start. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I can't get this started. You finally plug in Ben, I got it working. No man, Ben, I'm giving trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Once you're here five minutes, it's just start a plate, regardless of where you're at. Okay, thanks. Okay, chef, so you've been to all three stations, seen all three couples. What are your thoughts so far? Well, I have, um, like I said, I wanted to see them think outside the box. I've seen some people in the Guinness in, yeah, inside the sauce rather than in the drink. Yeah. And I've seen um, Shane, DJ Ras, mastering the planting. Are doing good at planting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then I've seen um, the other Shane. The other Shane and Charlene, they've 
fill their glasses. Um, they finished their drink already. Um, and um, all the teams, they cut it close with time, I think, but I think they'll be able to pull it off. So, all right, man. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, yeah, respect. Raw sabotage by Blender. And because of this, I don't only really have to look for another alternative, I'm gonna have to wash it, which means that I'm gonna have to be pumping, 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 pumping. Who leaves their dirty wares for someone else to wash up? And then, now we are plugging in this thing, it's not working. This is crazy. Time is running out. We, we got together, we sat down, we said, listen, when we get in here, we can keep it simple. So right now, it's all about simplicity. Keeping it simple. And finishing <laughs> on time. So we're doing a salad and the protein that we're accompanying the company salad is salmon. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to incorporate a little bit of the Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese, yeah. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned for how it is. Our last one you might can hear is... This is a coconut guinea sponge. Like coconut this punch. Punch. That is how we got this coconut in. Come on, yeah. boy, yeah. TV. Yeah. 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 No, never <laughs> done. <laughs> never done before. Okay. Never done. All right, that was the first for everything. <laughs> We've got to prepare four dishes. Okay, guys? It's four dishes that you are plating, and we have 11 minutes and 30 seconds left. The cocktail shaker is giving me stress. I have to allow my partner to come up desperately with another alternative. Well, you have to MacGyver things sometimes, so get the knife, get it open, because time is running out. Contestants, we have five minutes left. Five minutes left. I will just see some shenanigans. <laughs> Start to get plating, guys, get plating. Hold it, Ross. Hold it, yeah. I know we got Let's see all these cakes are coming up now. So my team. Want it, not paper. Ass. <laughs> I got the eggs to put in the fridge, but I must then. <laughs> so if we look at these salmon cakes here now, the salmon cakes has risen really well. And this first salmon cake was just a just a sample that we got. To test that so that burner. We didn't like that burner, so we ended up using this one for the salmon cakes. These look that they're going to taste really nice. Shane is cleaning up his drinks. I don't know if they're gonna have a chance to let me know which part the Guinness is in this. The Guinness in the drink or the Guinness in the crab? In the salmon cake. In the salmon cake. We sauteed the onions and peppers in it. They sauteed the onions and peppers. She didn't go a clue. She just said, I gotta wait this glass in and let's try My method. Okay. <laughs> and you all have a name for your dish? One and a half. Soon. Yes, should, their, their dish is called it's a Soon. <laughs> Guys, we have 90 seconds. 90 oh. seconds. You're gonna play it. You're gonna play it. You're gonna play it. The pressure is on. Oh, the pressure, oh, I can't yeah, use it. Come true team, not to be forgotten about, not to be left out. Salt getting in the way, but you can't go to the kitchen without salt. We are squared, it's flat. We got 40 seconds. We got the shenanigans. We can see shenanigans here now, boy. Four plates to be plated. Four plates to be plated. Here comes Charlene coming down. All right, guys, 25 seconds left. 25 seconds. Seconds left. Let, let me see drink. what's going to happen with team not to be left out. Oh, they are going to yeah, cut it really close. Watch it from there. We've got 10, 13 eight. seconds left. 13 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pencils and pens down. The exam is over. Pencils and pens down, everybody. That's it for round one. That was four plate. Two dishes. You're going to see what they came up with now.
Why is Barbados one of the best places for producing milk in the world? For one, the constant sunshine and cool temperatures. This helps keep the local cows happy and healthy so they can produce bountiful amounts of milk. But the great taste starts with our people, from local farmers whose craftsmanship has been passed through generations to Barbados' lone dairy processing plant who has been with them all along the way, ensuring that when it comes to Barbados, only the best product is provided. Pine Hill Dairy Milk is made at home, always fresh, always better. Okay, so we have Team R Squared here right now. Ross and Renice are ready to deliver their creation to the judges. After you guys. As I'm keeping over to my competition, I'm seeing everybody getting very creative with the things in the pantry. And I'm like, girl, it's solid. But we were not, we were not failed. No, we're not failed because one thing for sure, we did finish on time. On time. Welcome now the team not to be left out. Kezia and Javon with their creation as they come up to the judges and let us see what they came up with. Um, we have had some struggles uh, when it comes when it came to our cocktail, but with my partner's mastery with the meal, we hope to get the best result today. Here comes Shane and Charlene, team Shark and Shenanigans. Yeah. Team Captain Charlene putting down <laughs> the things. Vice Captain Shane, <laughs> ably assisted. Um, so I do think we have a really good chance to move forward into the next round, especially since, like I said, we were the only couple really to transform, transform the ingredients manipulator in some way. All right, so they have delivered their plates to the judges. It's time now for the judges to taste the drinks and eat the appetizers. Guinness and coconut punch. Stand, stand like you want to drink all one time. Trying to get the ingredients. Trying to get the ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to make sure who poured them, who poured them. That's good. So we saw Ross and Renice, they would have uh, put the coconut Get punch the in yeah. with the Guinness, the blended it, and also and added some spices. And the sea moss is in there. I think water, oh. after the Guinness can yeah, overpower it. Guinness as well though? Yeah, Guinness. A lot of Guinness, like yeah. too much Guinness. Yeah. Almost too much Guinness. Yeah. 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 All right, so we're going to taste their salad and salmon and plantain. So we're going to have the sweetness of the plantain. We can't wait though to hear what the judges, who are the experts are eating what they have to say about their plate. It's a salmon and a garden salad with expertly fried planting. Perfect the planting. Said, the, the, perfect. It's perfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one thing guys know, if you need planting for at home, call the Jeras. Yeah, it's salmon is real nice. Yeah, they say the salmon is really nice. Yeah, with the salad, it balances it out. Because the salmon is seasoned with um, onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. What about you, Dan? It's real nice. It's nice. Are you Stan? Cream cheese. The cream cheese? Cream cheese, <laughs> for me, yeah. cream cheese has brought it over yeah. Stan. So, yeah. it let us know the judges want to eat all of them food. <laughs> you guys, don't forget we got two more plates. <laughs> tell guys, what are y'all judging on? What's the criteria? Basically, how it's mixed together, the flavor, the smell. So, like, this smell real good. Oh, the, the drink smells really Yeah, but nice. my only thing I'm not getting is fine. So, the Guinness to me overpowered the whole right. drink. Yeah. The judges are now going to taste the creations by Kezia and Javon. That's team not to be left out. We're going to see what they came up with in terms of their drink and their dish. You can see the judges drinking. It's nice. They drink, they stir, they drink some more. I think that means they like it. Flavorless. Initial comments, guys, on their drink. Very refreshing. Refreshing, says Danielle. Yeah. Like a nice wine cooler. So nice a hot day, that, that'll be a nice start. Tristan just drank his third gulp of, <laughs> uh, of the drink. So Tristan, what do you think of the drink? I'm still thinking. Still thinking, I'm maybe still another thinking. sip. Just for you. <laughs> Refreshing. As Refreshing as well. is the word yeah. that he will use as well. So we're going to give them a chance now to Maybe score the drinks before they take in the dishes from the team not to be left out. Yeah. yeah. What are we talking about? We're taking into consideration the, the presentation uh, of the drink. Mm -hmm. So they have strawberries on the table, but they didn't actually use it. I think the time. 
But yeah. I think if it had left the whole strawberry in the drink, it would have given it that extra... The color, even yeah. Yeah. just yeah. the presentation, the visuals that you're looking at. The yeah. strawberry would have given it a little extra flavor too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It. Oh. it is good, but it's something missing. I know it's on to the food. You got yours, yours thing? The yeah, dishes that they created. It looked it look like sushi. Yeah. You recall it sushi? Uh, hey, Chef? Or um, the rice missing is a sushi roll, but not really. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's a play on the sushi roll. They, didn't, they wouldn't have enough time to cook and cool the rice, so this is their interpretation. I saw the nori, and I, I would have tried it, but I didn't expect somebody to do it. So she must be a lover of sushi or, you know, try it at home to try to execute it in the time given. What I thought was incredible, though, was the, the um, sauce that they made with the soy sauce. It's delicious. And the ca it's delicious. Yeah. Because they had a whole pan of brown sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to tell them, sir, but to you, and they use all the ingredients in the sauce, the Guinness and the sea moss. This was good. This is good. I like the cream cheese, veg, if salmon in the dip, middle. Then, yeah. If it could have dipped, you would get the flavor. Everything flavors. was fantastic. He had to like it because he two rolls in. He two rolls <laughs> Like three rolls in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Time now for the dish and drink created by Team Shar and Shenanigans. I want you all to get Danielle's reaction to this drink, guys. And it can hit you straight in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> it has a nice flavor, but it comes off bitter. I think they're paired in lime with the Sprite, so you think it was too much, too much lemony. Lime. Uh, Flavor. I'm not a fan of the, the flavor. It tastes a little limey to me, that you say. So you thought it was going to taste more had, berry ish? Right, I had to it twice to see. Because it was because it's red, you thought it would be more berry ish? Or? And the texture too. Yeah, it, it, it's thick. That's the only way you know it's sea moss, isn't it? Because of the texture. See, so there are salmon cakes, and there's an aioli in the middle, and then the salsa. Yeah. As and she said, that's the flow. Yeah, and the salmon cake has in the Guinness. The salmon cake? Yes, the summer cake has in the Guinness, so we're going to see how Team Char and Shenanigans did in terms of their dish. You heard from the judges as it relates to their drinks. Now let's see how their dish tastes. We're looking at Chef Dan to see his reaction. The guys who want honest reactions in North Carolina, all the judges, so we want here what tastes good and when it tastes so good, what coming down good. Are you getting some nods here from the judges? They seem to be enjoying the journey because I remember Charlene telling them it's a journey. You can't just eat it. You gotta eat from the cake down to the aioli, down to the salsa. So oh, how good. are you enjoying the journey, Danielle and Dan? This is very good. It's very good. Not this good. And the mixture with the sauce, the salsa. Yeah. It's I tried good. it on its own first just to see the flavor. Yeah. And it was okay, but when you paired it with all the other ingredients that came together. Well, I just talking to you while well, Tristan finished too, because he more full. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, is it true yet, Stan? This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> Me, take it. Need a little bit more salmon. <laughs> other than that, the sauce was nice, and the... Salsa. Salsa was nice. The sauce went. <clears throat> when both of them come together, you, when you use three of them together on the same yeah. fork. But the sauce, real. Overpowering. Nice, yeah. What we're gonna do right now, give them a chance to tally up the scores. I'll come back to you very, very shortly, right here on the Cook Off, the Couples Edition. Life doesn't stop for diabetes. Be ready for every moment with Glucerna. It's the number one doctor recommended brand that's scientifically designed to help manage your blood sugar. Live every moment, Glucerna. Contestants are here and they are ready to receive the judges' feedback. Well, overall, the consensus was um, the teams did well. Uh, the dishes were unique, each unique. Um, the drinks, 
some were up, some were down. Mm -hmm. Each team used all the ingredients, which was a bonus. Mm -hmm. um, we saw some creativity. We saw um, something sometimes a bit too simple, uh, not much imagination. Yeah. But overall, the flavors were all there. All right. So uh, I don't think we should wait any longer. I feel like we should get the results for these teams in. Do you have their scores? I just want the scores. Very tight competition here, guys. It is all separated by 14 points. 14 points. Now, we had three teams. One team scored 296 points. Another team scored 297 points. And another team scored 312 points. Will the team that thinks they have 312 points put their hand in the air, please? <laughs> <laughs> what I would say here, if team Shar and Shenanigans can take a step forward right now, Almost saddens me to let you guys know that you are the team with the most points and you will be continuing into the next round of the competition. Give it up for Team Mashar and Shenanigans. Now we have two teams here separated by one point. One team is going to be going to the exit. <laughs> Our team will be continuing. Will the team of Russ and Renice, you guys should take one step forward and advance to the next round of the competition. Oh, no. Unfortunately, our team never left behind. Not to be left out. <laughs> Not to be left out. You are going to be left out of the next oh. round of the competition. You can make your way to the exit. I guess I could have done better in terms of the drink. Uh, it was unfortunate what was happening, but uh, the judges did um, did say that it was the drink that kind of um, pulled us down a bit. So um, it's just uh, you know just go back to the drawing boards and come better. Um, I think that we did a very impressive job. Unfortunately, we have not been able to taste the competition. Having tasted ours, it was quite impeccable, I would say myself, especially our drink. But of course, the judges say it's final and we will have to walk away and accept that. But it, it, it would be a late to say that it hasn't stung a bit because I was very confident in our product. This is the Couples Clash. Congratulations, Charlene and Shane. Russ and Renice, they will be cooking off in the grand finale, we call it the climax. One couple has been eliminated after one round. Now we have two couples left to go at it right now here on the cook-off. The couples clash. There's going to be a lot of excitement. There's going to be vigorous cooking. There's going to be a lot of pumping and bodily fluids will be exploding. I'm talking about perspiration, guys, because it's all about the climax right here on the cook-off. The couples edition. Why is Barbados one of the best places for producing milk in the world? For one, the constant sunshine and cool temperatures. This helps keep the local cows happy and healthy so they can produce bountiful amounts of milk. But the great taste starts with our people, from local farmers whose craftsmanship has been passed through generations to Barbados' lone dairy processing plant who has been with them all along the way, ensuring that when it comes to Barbados, only the best product is provided. Pine Hill Dairy Milk is made at home, always fresh, always better. Better. Life doesn't stop for diabetes. Be ready for every moment with Glucerna. It's the number one doctor recommended brand that's scientifically designed to help manage your blood sugar. Live every moment. Glucerna. Welcome back to the Couples Cook Off. 
our guest couples are back on set. We've got Shane and Charlene, Char and Shane Nanigans, and we've got Ras and Renice are squared and they are ready for the climax. We've got a mystery basket in front of them. You guys, you can open up your mystery basket. Your ingredients right now, red cheddar, couscous, and chicken thighs. That's what they are going to have to make sure they include in their dish right now for the climax as we continue the cook-off, the couples edition for the love month of February. They're gonna have 45 minutes after they take a look at the mystery basket to cook up a meal for our judges. Are we gonna see who's gonna win the cook-off couples edition for this month? All brought to you compliments, Massey Distribution and Barbados Today. Okay, so it is round two, and you know round two is supposed to last longer. So both of these teams are going to have 45 minutes to see what they can produce. Maybe we'll get a stroke of luck. 45 minutes starting now. And they're all Shane and Charlie who head straight to the middle counter. So we take the cloth off of the basket and we see the mystery ingredients. We are seeing couscous, we're seeing boneless, skinless um, chicken thighs, and we are seeing this red cheddar. What are we going to make? And that's good. It is round two. Are you lucky that we can have bacon? Guys, Charlie. <laughs> Charlene is chopping away at the bacon and she drops it into the pan. And we've got action. Go time right here on the cook-off, the couples edition for February. All right, my man Shane is here chopping up the tomatoes. Just following instructions is what he's doing. Yes, he's yes, yes, told, yes. He was yes. told, go in the corner, cut the tomatoes. He's gone into the corner, he's cutting those tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget guys, round the two, their secret ingredients are the chicken thighs. They've got the Emborg red cheddar and couscous. I can't wait. I never eat couscous yet. I had cuckoo, but I never had it in plural. Apparently that's where it's couscous. <laughs> you can see what's going on here. What is it here? All right, so the first thing that's catching our eye right now is the couscous. Yes, the couscous. Um, we've both never prepared couscous before. So automatically, we're, we're one looking just at it. Read the we, back of we it. We want to read the back of <laughs> the label. We want to try to figure out exactly how we are going to prepare this couscous. Well, they get going now. They're three minutes in so far. I'm going to talk to the judges as they've heard. Got they have the Emborg red cheddar. Yeah. They've got the couscous yeah. and they've got the chicken thighs all in their mystery basket. And then anything else from the fridge or the pantry is theirs to use in the finals. It's the climax right now. Stan, have you ever done couscous before? Have you ever eaten couscous before? Only once. Once, yeah. So this is gonna be your second time. It's true. All right. What about you, Danielle? Never cut it. Right it. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Okay, I think it's a it's a different one from the entrance. You know, it ain't always some point. Yeah, okay. No. And it's sweet potato pie and it's scallop potato. So, so it has to have a nice flavor. But flavor is important. Yeah. Okay, chef. Then you know you're probably the only person yeah. here, only the four of us, who has ever put hands on couscous in a, in terms of cooking it. Yeah, as Daniel yeah. said, it needs to be flavored. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't cook like rice, right? so you can't you boil need it anything? and it nope. or get happy. Oh. So I think that is where we'll see the difference in the teams. Whoever does the couscous first, maybe better, maybe the teams that come out on top. Right, because couscous is going to be like the main. Yeah, as, as is only yeah, secret yeah. mystery no, ingredients. And, um, I saw yeah, that's Ras that's and okay. um, his so teammate okay, no. looking at yeah. it, so I don't think they're familiar with it. So it's interesting to see how they do it and if they can accomplish the perfect couscous. We are going to make an interpretation of carbonara by using the couscous as the pasta. We wanna cook in? We all cooking on here? Everything, girl. Huh? Everything, girl. What you want, Sam? I look like nothing. Then we're gonna take a look at what the guys are doing so far. They are about 10 minutes in to their cooking. And so we're gonna see how far they've gotten and what they are thinking about preparing. Are you gonna ask them yeah. what yeah. they're gonna be preparing? But I know they're gonna have an idea. I know exactly what they're gonna do. Okay, over to you, Chef. So, ladies and gentlemen, Hi. what's on your menu today? Um, please call out Indian. <laughs> so you got some couscous? Yeah, the couscous. We're going to vegetable stir-fry after doing 
a cheddar or parmesan crusted a chicken thigh. Ah, uh, okay. Mr. Jones. Yeah. Today is a chopper man. Yeah, I would like you to speak to my manager. Oh, okay, okay. I see you, you got these instructions yeah. at home, so, so you just follow me through. Exactly, this is supposed to look pretty. You know, see, this is supposed to look pretty, look beautiful. Oh, okay. Miss Charlene. Hey. I heard you were giving out some instructions. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, we have cooking up for us today. So, we're going to do um, an interpretation of uh, carbonara. Mm -hmm. um, instead of the spaghetti, obviously, we have to use the couscous. So we're going to do an interpretation of a creamy carbonara. Um, and the carbonara with, being the... Using the couscous. Mm -hmm. um, not sure yet if you're going to do the egg version of it or if I'll just go for I was, the cream. I was going to ask you that. My creativity is being shown here in the strawberry vinaigrette and the dollop of whipped Philadelphia. Um, since I saw it, he's having challenges with the... the crust on the chicken, which had the, the red cheddar and some Parmesan in it. When this whole has it been so far working with Ross? You know, he's a personality, so it's a little getting used to it, but um, it's not bad. He has good ideas. He has good ideas. Ross, <laughs> how has it been working with Renice? Yeah. Ain't buying on, ain't buying on. Right? Yeah. That's, that's how the buck coming. But, you know, <laughs> she's still a woman. Oh, what, <laughs> does that? what does that mean, Ross? It means that you gotta shut him out and just let you do things and things. Oh, okay, well, we need to continue to do your thing. Ross, I see you cooking here. I want to ask you a question as we're doing the couple's uh, edition of the cook off, the climax. Yeah. You a breast man or a thigh man? Boy, I feel like the, um, a thigh man, boy. You're a thigh man today? Yeah. Are these are thighs or breasts that you want to take? I can't tell by looking. Boy? I think they're supposed to be brass. <laughs> I think that they might be drum <laughs> So guys, as an established couple, yeah. eight years of doing this. It's, has it been eight years in the kitchen though, Charlene? No. It's not no. been eight years in the kitchen. I don't really cook with nobody inside the kitchen with me. Oh, okay. So she and this girl easy then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess every now and again I go out try anything, right? So I peep, I peep on what? So you now get that, I get to take part in the first thing. Because what happened is when I found out that you were one of the contestants, I asked the wrong with some common mirrors and tell me she and Jones can't come. That's true. That's true. Right? Yeah. So you you you, you can handle yourself. Yeah, don't, don't have to cook. Don't have to cook. Okay, so Team Shar and Shenanigans, yes, tell me how it has been working together because you're not accustomed to being in the kitchen with Shane, even though you're accustomed to being with Shane. I think this is a really great experience. I mean, you know, you do different things as a couple. We definitely like to um, enjoy different experiences. Yeah. And this is definitely one for the book. Um, you know, cooking is one of those things that you like to relax and just, you know, yeah. take your yeah. time. So actually having to do this um, under the pressure, the lights, the time, and all of that is a different experience. And trying to remain calm with my love here is <laughs> uh, indeed, like I said, an experience. But I'm enjoying it. One other thing um, that Shane contributes <laughs> so nicely is, you know, reminding me there are some ramekins there. Maybe we can um, style the dish a little better. Um, other than just putting it into the bowl, use the ramekins to make like this lovely little shape. And I'm agreeing. I think that that is going to be beautiful. Contestants, we have we the... 10 minutes We're not finished with anything. Ross, you also use an application over there. No, no they're cooking there, Shane. Put it on the other side. You can rest it there. You can rest it there, man. Wait, what time going? As a result, 9.23. I need 10 more minutes on the clock for my thing not working. You're cooking a buffet. Well, if it wasn't cooking, which means I was here not cooking for at least 20 minutes. I need, I need some more time, which is not going to be done. I hope the camera's We were already saying about the chicken just now, Ross. That is very good looking. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my portion. I want you all to get a, a good look at Ross's chicken. I think with the right name, this is going to have the right and dessert effect. Char and shenanigans, they are plating. Looks interesting. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Shane, yes. as the voice captain of this team, yes. tell me, how do you think your creation has come up? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Char, went, she, she had a plan, she had a plan. told me what to do and she executed it. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute left. We're coming down to the climax, guys. We're coming to the climax. You can see who finished first, who go over time. Who's premature? 15 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, 
One. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Over. And that is it, guys. Round <laughs> okay. two is, is finished. I want to let the ladies clean themselves up and the men. Oh, and we're going to present to the judges right now. What's the difference between food processors and blenders? If you're looking to transform and prep fresh ingredients, then there are two main categories of appliances for you to consider. Blenders and food processors. Each offers unique features and both can become indispensable devices that empower you to get creative on a daily basis. The K150 3-speed ice crushing blender is designed to create ideal taste, texture, and consistency for your best tasting smoothies and icy drinks. Like all KitchenAid blenders, it uses an asymmetrical blade system that pulls ice into the blades for ultimate crushing. And the soft start feature helps prevent splatters for fully blended results and an effective blending vortex. The K400 blender cranks up the power for smooth results on any recipe, even with the toughest ingredients. From deliciously crafted smoothies to creamy nut butters, fresh sauces, and so much more. The five variable speeds offer more control over taste and texture. The ProLine series blender gives you superior speed control for optimal texture. Plus, the soup setting delivers enough power to the blade to heat the soup on its own and then keeps it hot with the available thermal control jar. Just like our powerful precise blenders, KitchenAid food processors can mix and puree, but they can also help you master chopping, slicing, shredding, whisking, and more. Small footprint, endless inspiration. The three and a half cup chopper is the perfect kitchen companion. It chops, mixes, and purees, while its drizzle basin lets you incorporate liquids. You can create beyond what's expected with a nine cup food processor plus that chops, purees, mixes, slices, shreds, kneads, and even churns butter. Large batch meal making is made easy with the large capacity 13 cup food processor. Chop, shred, precision slice, knead, mix and puree with ease to elevate everyday meals and save space. An all-in-one storage caddy stores blades, discs and fits right in the work bowl. All KitchenAid food processors are designed with twist-free bowls and lids and in-bowl storage for less clutter. If you crave rich, creamy smoothies, delicious, icy blended creations, or even hot beverages and soups, KitchenAid blenders offer something for every style of maker. If you're looking to push the bounds of culinary expression in the kitchen and make quick work of food prep, look to the KitchenAid food processors and choppers. Enticing creations await. Explore more at KitchenAid.com. They are ready to present them to our judges. It is the cook-off, the couple's clash, and we are going to start with the first of our two finalists. Shane and Renice are squared. Ross and Renice, bring your plates forward and present them to our judges. Pick the two that look the best. So Renice, what did you prepare for the judges today while well, you and Ross? <laughs> Okay, so here you have the couscous that we incorporated the red cheddar into. The inborg red cheddar. Inborg yeah. red cheddar, my yes. bad. <laughs> the chicken was an attempt <laughs> at <laughs> red cheddar and parmesan crusted and seared chicken thighs. Um, you also have a saute <laughs> of vegetables and at the side you have a strawberry vinaigrette and the Philadelphia whipped cream cheese with some red cheddar. Who was the creative, um, who provided the creative juices behind the dish? Me. Who was in charge of the chicken, the attempt on the chicken? Not, <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay, judges, over to you. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. If you're no. <laughs> the chicken Is there first. a chicken that I should try first or, or avoid? Not the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try the chicken first. Chicken. Here's the thing. I incorporated the bread cheddar into the, um, the whipped cream cheese because I realized that the crust liked the pan more than it liked the chicken. So I tried to incorporate the mystery item still. Adding the strawberry vinaigrette, that was to, just to be different or? If that gets me points, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
good. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah. It tastes good? Yeah. Aww. It has a nice flavor. And um, the crust. What it was, left of the crust. The partial crust I have is good. It, yeah, yeah, it can yeah, taste yeah, the flavor yeah, coming yeah, through. You have a little issues with the, um, the hot pan. It was getting hot, turning off, getting hot, turning off. But we made it work. We now invite Team Char and Shenanigans at Charlene and Shane to bring their dish to the judges to be judged. Are you praying? They even got fancy bowls, y'all. Let us know what it is you all prepared. Who's the team captain? She's the team captain, but I can, I can let you know I prepared and she will go into the explanation. <coughs> you are two right? corporate communication specialists here, guys. So we're gonna hear we're gonna hear the sanitized version of this, are we? Yes, go on. So for the climax round, what we prepared for you is a pan seared chicken thigh with a creamy couscanara. So the interpretation that we had was of the classic carbonara. Um, I recognize that Emborg had already um, established the perfect pasta sauce, which was um, actually for the carbonara sauce. I didn't have to actually go into the whole egg thing. Um, so I was grateful for that, thanks to Emborg. And we incorporated the red cheese into the cream sauce and the couscous. And what we did with the fresh tomato was to really cut the richness of the dish. Um, there's lots of cream in there. Like I said, the cheese is in there and it makes it for a really rich, rich dish. Yeah. So the fresh tomato really cuts into that and makes the nice. dish balanced. In this second round, I felt a lot more comfortable having gone through the four play round before. And you know, Sorry, four play warm, warm is warm necessary. Yeah, four, four play is necessary, is necessary. Yes. all yes. the time. All Thank right. You. How do y'all know you were very interested all along with the plating? How is the plating for you? Did it surprise you, disappoint you, <coughs> meet your expectations better than expected? This plating is perfect, way I expected. Mm -hmm. um, Rasta and Renita's plating was interesting, how they had it um, kind of like flat, kind of scooped. I mean, yeah, yeah. It was different, but this one tastes a lot better. Ah, it's it itself. Yeah, and I like the flavor of it, and then how they incorporate the veg into it. Yes. The so when you're going down into it, you're seeing different veg. The chicken is very good too. Beforehand, we had said that the couscous needs to be flavored well. You yeah. know, the flavor well because it's a pretty bland ingredient. So you thought that putting the vegetables in the couscous helped to bring out the flavors. Right? And the cream sauce. Yeah. Rasta's um, couscous also had a nice flavor. Okay. A lighter flavor, but this one, I guess, with the cream and the cheese and the veg. And the bacon as well. The bacon. And the bacon, yeah. yeah. It had a, a wonderful a flavor. Depth in terms of flavors. I'm gonna let you all guys deliberate. We're gonna come up with a winner. Right next to see me, we are gonna be announcing the winner of the cook-off, the couples edition, the love edition. Thanks to Massey Distribution and Barbados Today. Don't you move. Why is Barbados one of the best places for producing milk in the world? For one, the constant sunshine and cool temperatures. This helps keep the local cows happy and healthy so they can produce bountiful amounts of milk. But the great taste starts with our people, from local farmers whose craftsmanship has been passed through generations to Barbados's lone dairy processing plant who has been with them all along the way, ensuring that when it comes to Barbados, only the best product is provided. Pine Hill Dairy Milk is made at home, always fresh, always better and we are back and ready to announce the winner of the couples clash in the cook-off today we had these two teams here they went into the finals we've been on a journey from four play to climax guys and we can't wait to see who's going to win this big grand prize you're wondering what the prize is it is a romantic staycation at the four star all-inclusive sea Breeze Hotel for two. <laughs> Second prize is a dinner for two at the Cliff Restaurant. And third prize, we should be going to our team, not to be left out, will be a gift basket compliments of Massey Distribution. No. Team Shar and Shenanigans, are you ready? Ready. ready. Team R Squared, are you ready? Woo ready. Woo. <laughs> judges, are you ready? You've made your final decisions? Yes. Yeah. No changes? No, no. Any thoughts that you want to share with us before we announce the winner? For me, it was not such a close winner. Mm -hmm. But I think the minor inconveniences that um, Ross and oh, Renice had kind of threw them back a little bit, but they're butts. Um, some, of, some of the categories were pretty close, but the ones that separated them really separated them. Wow. 
Yeah, but I think it was a good job overall. It was a really hard ask given a couscous is very unique and different. Um, I think it came out um, pretty good. But you could see where they would have fallen short. Right. But good job. I was impressed by both teams. Um, like um, Danielle said, couscous is not a common dish that everyone um, is accustomed to. So uh, you could see where some people fell short and some people stood out. But I was still impressed overall by the whole dish, the dish as a whole, and um, the attempts made by both parties. Attempts is a good word. <laughs> <laughs> One team accumulated 204 points, and the winning team accumulated 261 points. <laughs> well, team R squared take one step backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to announce with 261 points, the winner of the cook-off couples challenge for 2023 compliments of massive distribution and Barbados today team Shar and shenanigans and congratulations for the Kadaki Nogue congratulations to you want to pop me off and over to our victors yes uh, after you all guys head to the exit <laughs> <laughs> And our victors, Team Shar and Ooh. Shenanigans. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Love you. Yes, man. <laughs> How was the experience with all guys in the kitchen together for once? Oh my gosh, the pressure. Yeah. I am not accustomed to having someone in the kitchen with me, um, so I'm glad that Shane was um, comfortable in taking um, my suggestions and just following my lead. All right, Hashem, yeah. for you. Yeah, I know Shar coming in, she had, a, she had a lot of pressure. She was thinking that, you know, I'm a food host, economic. She just did a big arm um, hosting gig for Food and Rum Festival for right. Flow TV. So she was saying, if the food doesn't taste good, people are going to be like, I don't want her back on. I'm like, Shar, yeah, come you on. Your food tastes good. I'm confident, you know, so even she was nervous. I was like, we good, you yeah, know? Man. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, she learns to trust my palate a bit more. And um, she, she's really good. I guess the pressure of, Having to do this in front of so many people and be judged by it was yes. a little bit much, but I was I never had a doubt on her abilities. And I just I knew once I followed what she told me to do, everything would be great. Alright guys, here you have it. Breaking news from Shane Jones. <laughs> Winners of the couples cook-off for 2023. Shar and Shenanigans, Woo! Charlene and Shane. They kept up with the Joneses. We didn't have to call the Labour office. We didn't have to call the union. They've got it. They are the union. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the Cook-Off, the Couples Edition. It was a journey from foreplay all the way to climax. Big ups to Barbados today and to Massey Distribution for having us. Thank you to all three teams, all three couples that came out. Congratulations once again to our winner and see you again the next time that we cook off. continue our update on the maze replacement project. This project is funded by the IDB. Um, it's one of the components. We have it divided into two packages. Package A, which is being undertaken by CO Williams, and this covers the Dover Maxwell area. And then we make our way down to, to the Independence Square from Renderville. We're doing the tributary roads along that section. 
and then we move on to the package B section which is covered by Arthur Construction and that covers the Bridgetown area, sections of Spring Garden, Westbury New Road, Rihanna Drive and on to Bell and Flint Hall. So we're going to provide you with an update in terms of how we progress, made progress on these roads. So back to package A, we have done our excavation, we have placed new PE polyethylene pipes to replace the cast iron pipes and these works has progressed well along Dover Gardens, 1st and 2nd Avenue Dover Gardens. We've also done the same thing on Maxwell, Maxwell Gardens, 1st, 2nd Avenue Maxwell Gardens. We've done some works on Headley, just off of um, Clyde B. Jones Funeral Home. And then I think we're gonna go on to the Dover Road, the Dover area. We have taken the opportunity to also install services to residents where we are switching out and putting the, the residents onto the new, the new main. So we're making good progress on that. On to package B, we would have done similar works, excavation, placing new main and backfill at Gaudi Road also off of Lakes Folly. We have done the same thing at Westbury New Road, which is now Rihanna Drive. We have installed the new mains, backfilled, and we have installed the majority or most or all of the services. Currently, we are working in the Belt of Flint Hall area where we are moving from our regulating station along Liquid Village, and we are progressing well with that, with a new six inch main, six inch PE. And today, we are gonna start doing works at St. Leonard's Avenue, we're gonna excavate and install a new two inch PE main. After all these works I have mentioned where we would have put in the mara filling, we have the next phase where we're gonna do reinstatement or, or what you would know as replacing the asphalt. Uh, currently we are waiting on results, compaction test, to ensure that the mara has been compacted properly. We are at advanced stage with Gaudi Road off of Lakes Valley where we would have did some extra cutting and stuff to make sure that when we put in this new asphalt, it would be placed according to the standards of MTW.